Hey, so today is gonna be a fun day. I'm with one of my sisters, this is Laurie. <laughs> She's one of my older sisters. <laughs> and we are gonna go out thrifting. We are at, where are we anyway? God's Way. Oh yeah, God's Way Thrift Outlet Store. We are in, um, are we in Rehoboth? In Rehoboth. Yeah, yep. Rehoboth, Delaware. So we're gonna go in here, we're taking you along. I, I cannot wait to see what is in the store. I've not been in here before, but you have, right? Yep. All okay. time. So All we're time. gonna let's let's just let's just get to it, okay? <laughs> All right, so we're in here and there's not a lot of customers. So I think it's gonna be, that was a worker. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a good opportunity to show some of the things. But I wanted to ask you, are you looking for something in particular today? I am, so what are you looking for? Um, nothing in particular, just whatever I can do to think to make over something. Okay, something okay. Something I could use. Okay, well, one thing I'm looking for is a small lamp. So I gotta keep that in mind. I'd love a pair of them. And also, rattan pieces or Wicker. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Let me turn this camera around and show you that. One of my daughters is looking for wicker and rattan pieces. So I'm going to take a better look at this. I'll send her a picture and see if she's interested. I don't know, are you seeing a price tag on that? At $25. Look at this. What? You're kidding. That's such a good deal. Such mm -hmm. a good deal. Mm -hmm. Super boho. Oh, it's adorable. So here's something my sister just pointed out. This, she said it's just really a great place to find greenery. Like she's done a lot of with that. I've done it with Christmas, not so much of this kind of greenery, but I gotta admit, this is crazy. It's not even dusty, so it's not old. And it, it's a lot of greenery. It is $25, you get the basket and the greenery. It's a really good deal. I think I'm gonna pass on it, but it's a thing to look for when you're out thrifting. You know how much I love making risers. I just found this stack of, these are solid wood plates. It's just painted on and they're $2 a piece in these variety of sizes. I can kind of see this in layers, like work with me here, I got one hand. But basically like a tiered tray with these for only $6 and you can put uh, wooden spindles in between each one to make a really pretty tiered tray. Paint the whole thing out. Oh, that would be so cute. This little storage box is really cute. I have been seeing these made over on a couple of other channels. I guess the bread boxes are making a comeback. Anyway, this would be nothing to just paint up, make it cute, maybe pop off that little house. I don't know if I like the house on the front, maybe paint it. Yeah, just a pretty piece. I don't see a price tag on it, so I might have to ask about that one.
I can find a lot of bedding at these places. So my sister I, I just found lot, this thing. I buy a lot of sheets. Oops, lighting is bad, sorry. This is like a big fat lasé cover. It comes with two pillow shams. And what did you say this costs? $15. $15? There's no way you could buy that. It looks really good. Oh, there it is. Full size, two shams, $15 for the whole set. Really pretty. So, you just found these pillows and something just happened. Do you want to tell me about what you just did? Well, because I saw other people looking at them, I picked them up and if I decided I didn't want them, I'll put them back. But they're completely filled down fabric. Down feathers. What? Those are down filled? The fabric is perfect. It might not be your color, but you could actually paint this fabric. Yes. And place it as a roll on your bed. Crazy. How much? Five dollars each. Oh my gosh. You can't even buy the down filling for that. It's crazy. That is crazy.
All right, what do I do now? All right, so <laughs> we're leaving this shop. I couldn't film a lot in there. It's, it's a little awkward when there are people walking around and <laughs> I just haven't quite gotten over that. But what'd you find? Did you find something good? I did. I okay. found an adorable Ooh. little sleigh. Ooh. Ooh. sleigh. Nice. Very cute. Bet you're going to paint it. I am. Oh, cute. Metal Christmas ornament for $1. That's good. This Will you paint normal, that? This was normally eight, and I oh. got it for four. Oh, that's decorations good. for half price. Nice. I'm going to hang this on a front door mm -hmm. as um, a Christmas decoration. Nice. That's nice. Well, I'll show you what I got when I get home, but I think we have one more stop. Is that right? Uh, we do. We do. Okay. We're going to go find it. All right, so the store that we just went into, I couldn't film. Like again, it's just like so many people. You see what I mean? It's yep, kind of weird, yep. isn't it? This one is called New Life Thrift Shop, and we're still in like the southern end of Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Yep. And we did find some good things. Let me turn the camera around and show you. Okay, first step. So tell me about what you got, Laurie. Well, I bought this. It's got a wire, uh, metal wrought iron holder and this heavy ceramic pottery, I don't know what you want to call this thing, um, tray. And what's and your plan? My plan is, is I'm going to give this next year for Christmas. It's almost like a charcuterie carrier. I'm going to put um, different types of cheeses, some crackers. I'm going to put some different sauces like mustards and some salami, pepperoni type things. And I will, and I'll package it on top of here, and I'll send it for a Christmas present. That's a great this, idea. This was fifteen dollars. Yeah. The entire thing. The whole thing, and it's big. It's big. It's yeah. very big. That's a really nice gift. Well, I only found one thing, and it is for a project that's coming up. I got it in two parts here. It's a little candle lamp. I have a blog post coming up about this soon, in the next couple of weeks. I got it for ten dollars. And I'm not crazy about the colors. I am going to transform it. So um, stay tuned for that. Alrighty. So it was a full day, wasn't it? It was a very full day. Yeah. Very kind of day. beat. It's late in the day. It's like three. Okay. It's late for me. <laughs> oh, sorry. Dinner's in the oven already. At home. <laughs> there you go. Well, we wanted to go over and show you some of the things that we that we get that we came across today some really good deals i don't really feel like i got a lot i feel like you got a ton i got a lot of stuff i okay. got a lot of really good stuff all right well let's get my little haul out of the way and then we're going to get to your stuff okay? okay sounds great okay sounds great all righty so here's where we're going to get started my favorite thing this right here i love these silver pitchers i don't know if you saw my vintage buffet tablescape but i have a really pretty one there i just found this one really good shape i love it the patina on it it was four dollars i just could not resist by the way i saw another one at another store and i think it was more like 20. so i really feel like i got a good deal here looking forward to that um random but i got this shirt from old navy it just looks super comfy it was four dollars i'm just looking for a couple of casual shirts to go with jeans and oh i picked up a couple of books for my two grandsons i like to have these little books they wound up being a dollar each. You cannot beat that. So whenever you go into a thrift store, be sure you check out the books. You're gonna find some good deals. I'm just gonna wipe these down to make sure that they're clean and then I'm good to go with my grandkids. All right, so you already saw this lamp before. We already showed you that, it's kind of heavy. I'm gonna set that down so you saw that. I picked up a couple of baskets. This one I thought was really pretty. It's one of these flat baskets. These are really awesome to hang on a wall, like in a whole collage of different shapes and styles of these shallow baskets. This is only about, I don't know, two, two inches deep. It's real shallow, it's more like a tray. That's gonna be really pretty on the wall, as well as this one. Oh, this one here. 
Golly, I don't remember what I paid. Two dollars. That one was two dollars. Okay, that one was cheap. This one I do remember it was five dollars. This is a like a tray, and it's shallow too. It's probably three or four inches deep, but this will go on a wall too. Really pretty. I may or may not do anything with this one. Probably not. I think I'm just going to give it a good cleaning, and this one as well. I don't have to do anything to this. It's just instant wall art. I love that. Okay, before I get on to this thing, I'll tell you here in a second about that. Let's get to this. I love making these risers, and you guys have really enjoyed them here on my channel and over on my blog at reinventeddelaware.com. I make these risers, and you guys love them, and especially the local customers when we used to sell our pieces at the local vintage shop that we sold at. I would basically find some kind of flat wooden bowl or some kind of wooden bowl. When I mean flat, I mean like this is not... It's kind of a plate, but sort of a bowl. It's a weird little thing. It has a really pretty design. And then the shallow center here in the center, I'm gonna paint and distress this. You guys know I love to paint. That's what I'm gonna do with this. This thing was three buckaroonies. I couldn't believe it. It's solid and it's heavy. I already have a base to put on it. So stay tuned for that video. We're gonna be making this over. Then the last thing, the last thing I got were these shelving brackets i don't really know what these are called laurie what do you think these are called like a corbel type of thing okay this is like a corbel it's solid heavy resin it's not wood but it is resin it's super heavy it has these hangers on the back and i'm going to paint these and distress them and i cannot wait to show you where i'm going to use them if you have an idea of where i might use them let's see how could i give you a hint it's gonna go in my kitchen and it's gonna go near my stove and it has to do with my cabinets. Okay, that's enough of a hint. If you can guess where I'm gonna use these and how I'm gonna use them, please put a comment down below or maybe you have an idea of how I should use these horrible things after I paint and distress them. So stay tuned for that video. They came in a pair of two and they were $20 for the pair. So they were $10 a piece. What a deal. I didn't get a lot, but I'm happy with what I got. Let's take a look at what Laurie got. Hey, I'm Laura, Cindy's sister, and today with our thrifting, I bought several things, one of which is this tree skirt. It's vinyl. It's, it's like a wicker type look. Um, the tree will sit inside of here. These, I paid $5 for this at a thrift store. Normally, they run around $40 to $45. This is a really, really good one. $5. Perfect. The next thing I bought is I bought a king size comforter that's labeled from L.L. Bean. It's furry on one side, quilted on the other side, and I'm going to give this to my daughter. She doesn't know it yet, so don't tell her. I paid $23 for this, but it's a king size. It's the other thing that I bought, and I'll take this to the laundromat because it's so big and so heavy, but just a couple times a year, it'll just need to be laundered before we use it. And then here, I bought a full-size, super quilted, super nice, super heavy-duty quilted mattress pad. I really like, like nice mattress pads. I like my people who stay at my house to be very comfortable. This is full-size. I paid $3.50 for this. What? I can't believe it. $3.50. This is every bit of a $50 mattress pad. It's in perfect condition. I just need to launder it. At another thrift store I went to, I bought four gold frames with double matted uh, with a gold inlay in the side. I'm going to end up painting these black. Um, I have lots of photographs on my, my photograph wall that I need to put them in frames. And these will be like five by seven. Love those. Got four of those. They were $2 a piece. My grandmother had a set of these canisters. She was born in 1903. So you can imagine this is maybe 80 years old. Anyway, something that I like, I think it was from the early 40s and or maybe 50s. Um, this one says sugar. I had to have it. It was $2. Wow. It's aluminum. I couldn't pass it up. Need a butter dish. Didn't want to pay $20 for a butter dish. This is a metal bu butter dish. I like it because it's got a lip all the way around it. So when you're lifting up the dish, you can hold it with your fingers as opposed to trying to figure it out. Nice little lid on top. $3. Another thing I bought was this one store I went to today. All their Christmas items were 50% off. I pay, it was labeled $8. I paid four. 
This will be lovely to hang next to my front door on the outside. I'll put a little bit of greenery up there. I'll probably end up painting this, maybe even a black or another color, but uh, nice and wooden, very nice. I bought this, if you will, a charcuterie tray. So this is gonna be somebody's Christmas present next year. I don't know who yet, but it can't, it, this comes out. This is the tray that it goes in. So next year, I will put in some packaged cheeses, salamis, some uh, packaged crackers, wrap it all up, put a big, big red bow tie on it. They'll use it for future. I only paid $15 for the entire thing. I'm sure it would cost close to 40 in, in retail. That's my story. All right, today was such a fun day. I just had a blast. How about you? I had a great time. Great I, time. I did too. I mean, listen, just go grab your sister, grab a friend, grab somebody, just go thrifting together. It's so much fun. You just get to spend the day together, visiting, having lunch, shopping. It's all good. I didn't get a lot today, but I'm satisfied with what I got. How about you? I got a lot of stuff today. Yeah, a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Listen, if you enjoyed this video, I'm just going to ask you to give me a thumbs up. I'm going to ask you to subscribe because I got a lot of makeovers coming with the projects that you saw me buy today with the thrifted items. So I don't want you to miss out. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you later. Thank you.